<sighs> it's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they had their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... Did they really need to stab me? what I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, Professor? I knew it! You listen to me because you care about me, don't you? Ugh, go away, Hanneman. Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Ah, oh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed, Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example... I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seth, then Lady Rhea, then... Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such... Stop talking! Let's gather a team and get going! I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you. Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. <laughs> we have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh. They've noticed me. Here they come. Let's take them out.
stay focused. Allow me to demonstrate. You didn't give it your all. Here goes. What should I do? I'll go. My turn. Apologies. Let us away. My thanks. Try harder. to lose that should do Try again. This wouldn't have happened in my youth. Change for the better. Predictable. Let the lesson begin. Each battle, a chance to grow. Another step forward. Thank you. 
Not my first battle. Allow me to demonstrate. Should I have held back? Well. I've improved. Bunch of meddlesome losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for leverage. Capture that woman. We'll show them what the Death God Gang's made of. Death God Gang? What kind of childish nonsense? Where's the Death Knight? Huh. How boring. Each 
each battle a chance to grow. Should I have held back? Not bad. Caution is prudent. Stay focused. Caution is prudent. Stay focused. out.
stay focused. What should I do? Ineffective. Let us away. My brother will be pleased. Here goes. Don't think so. What's done is done. I'll go. My turn. Got it. Each battle, a chance to grow. We are the Death God Gang. We're all unstoppable. Come <laughs> on. 
Thanks. I have improved. Manuela, are you uninjured? A few scrapes and bruises, but yes, I'm well enough. How could anyone think that was the Death Knight? It was obviously just an ordinary bandit. Oh well, I may not have found my revenge, but at least we got to retrieve stolen goods. Manuela, you unthinking fool! Hanuman, I've heard enough already. How bloody stupid are you? If that were the real Death Knight, you'd have new, likely fatal wounds to match your first. Do you know how much you worried all of us? You should be ashamed. Oh, no. This is a matter of life and death. It should not and must not be taken lightly. You're right. So there, I said that. It's true, but... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to everyone later. Huh. I should say I'm sorry as well. I lost my temper just now. I see you act so irrationally and I lose my wits. I care about you a great deal and wish to see you safe. Will you believe me? Yes, of course. I'm the same way after all. I let my emotions get the best of me. Ugh, we're both too old to be shouting all the time. You're awfully quick to put a bow on this. Are you sick of us already, Professor? You're part of this, Professor. We are the only teachers this academy has. No need for bickering. Well said, Hanneman. Would you care to join me for a celebratory drink? That sounds lovely. Perhaps a nice cup of tea is in order. Tonight's meal looks exquisite. Time for me to make the most of this opportunity. Are you all right? Slow down. Your dinner is not going anywhere. <laughs> I am not sure it is your business to tell me how to consume my meal. You must admit this food is absolutely delectable. I have not eaten something this tasty in ages. Well, good. I suppose my enthusiasm is a tad overwhelming. Do you happen to know who cooked this meal? I did. You are the chef? Today? Yes. I... I do not think I have ever been brought to tears by a meal. Oh, Dudu, you are a chef without peer. Why... That was truly more delicious than anything I have eaten in all my years. I highly doubt that. No need for modesty. 
I could certainly never make anything even remotely so delicious. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Will you please teach me how to cook such delicacies as the one I ate just now? You want me to teach you to cook? <sighs> Indeed! I have never been so emotional over cuisine! You must teach me your ways! Very well. But only if you are serious, and do not quit halfway through. Oh, I would not dream of it! Thank you, Chef Dudu! <laughs> Here, you're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Ah, wonderful. I have a special request for you then. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. What? I am more than capable. Right. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All of them? If you insist. Here we go! Wow! You truly are spectacular! I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land! Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger woodpile! Why did I agree to this? Okay, Mercy. This time we're gonna be really good and get the supplies with no detours. You're so good at sticking to a plan. I should leave the shopping to you. I'll stay out of your way and just browse. Hey, that's not fair. I wanna browse too. Looks like you girls are having a good time. Uh, Annie? Is this a friend of yours? I've never seen this person before. I'm sorry to be rude, but we're kind of busy. Wait a minute. I think you're shopping with money you stole. But no need to worry your pretty little heads. I'm just gonna have to take it back for us common folk. Step back, Mercy. This could get dangerous. Listen here, you. There's no way you can win against me. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. So just back away. You think you can talk to me that way? I'm gonna... Oh, the knights are coming. What? Annie, run! <sighs> this is far enough. We should be safe. I hope so. But what were you thinking? That sort of behavior isn't like you at all. I just... I thought you were in danger, Mercy. You're actually blaming me for this? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Mercy! I was just trying to protect you. <laughs> Ingrid? What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so... so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, I was really curious about why you're not interested in things like makeup. So I asked some of our friends about it, and... Oh, I see. 
I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiancé. Correct? They did. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Beyond that, it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it, even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy those things, if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all, except pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great, and it really suits you. I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace the lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Wanna go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> There's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will complement your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous knight this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. <laughs> I must continue to work hard. 